Hello, and welcome to Flannel News. I am Gail Abrams. In recent news, two Italian women were stopped in a Munich airport for carrying remains of a dead man in their luggage. Airport security spotted a skull and bones in the x-ray as the luggage went past. They don't let us on plane, and we don't understand, because body parts in luggage are under the weight restrictions. But after one of the women showed a valid death certificate, the two women were allowed to continue their trip to Naples. In other news, we have Susan Somers with a man who used CPR to save a dog's life. Susan? Yes, and thank you, Gail. I am now here with Bob Smith, a firefighter who used CPR to save a dog. Bob? Can you please tell us how you saved the dog? Well, me and my team were called to fight a fire because that's what we do. And uh, so yeah, we rescued two dogs and one dog wasn't breathing and his tongue was hanging out a little bit. So uh, yeah, I just cut my hands like this and I blew into his mouth until I felt his lungs expand. And then he started breathing, yeah. A little bit of dog breath, but that's okay, as long as I stay alive. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Yeah. We should go out on a date or something. Yeah. Definitely a little date. That is a truly inspiring story, Bob. You are a hero to all household pets. And back to you, Gail. In Illinois, a man was jailed for six months after letting out a yawn in court. The judge said that the yawn was loud and boisterous. The Winnie the Pooh bandit is still at large robbing banks and wearing the Pooh sweatshirt. And a woman in Wisconsin had to get rabies shots after being bitten by otters swimming in a lake. And that concludes our news report for today. Tune in tomorrow for news breaking news. I am Gail Abrams, and this is Final News. Okay, so now it's vlog time, and I have to do all the questions that Joe asked in a British accent. So yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Lily. I live in America. I'm 17 and I'll be 18 December 31st. And um, yeah, I'm pretty old. I'm older than all you on the channel. My favorite YouTuber is actually Mitchell Davis too. Um, I got so excited when his videos come up and he's just so creative. I just love him. I would most definitely sing um, Milkshake in a passionately while skipping down the road. Um, not, not skipping down my road because I live in the ghetto and I'd probably get raped. So I have done it in two videos already. Uh, it's kind of random but yeah two videos I've already sang that. But I would not do it down my street because I would get killed. If I were to be an animal, I would be as cliche as the sounds. I'd probably be a bird because I can fly around. I can fly wherever I want to. And I think that just flying would be a major plus. I would love to rob some banks and I'd get tons of money. And then I would hitch a flight to... Um, Paris and London and Milan and Tokyo and um, yeah I'd go to fashion week for well, you know fashion week and I'd just just sneak in on all the fashion shows and I'd love it. I'd probably be famous for hopefully fashion design or some form of fashion maybe styling or painting because I love to paint too or drawing or um, it'd be fun if I were famous for YouTube because that's currently what I'm working on. That, that's my answering machine. Please don't be for me.
Don't be for me, don't be for me, don't be for me. It's not for me! My biggest flaw would probably be that I am... Um, I'm a bit of a quitter. I kind of quit things as as soon as I start to dislike it, I just stop it and I'm like, okay, I don't want to do this anymore, so I'm not going to do it. And, uh, yeah, so I don't finish things that I start, especially if I don't like it. Like, I, I like to write, but I haven't finished a story ever. Never finish a story that I've started. Um, I don't know why McDonald's doesn't sell hot dogs, because you would think that hamburgers and hot dogs, they would just go hand in hand. I uh, try to stay away from McDonald's and hot dogs, so I don't really care to find out. It's a song um, by Finger Eleven called Paralyzed. I hate this song. Am I the kind of person who would apologize if somebody bumped into me? No, actually, I'm not. Um, I'm a bit of, you know, what, what where are you going, mate? <laughs> I wear bow ties, I own men's t-shirts, I own men's sweaters, I own a lot of men's wear. I'm wearing boxes right now, I wear boxes in every single video. But, um, yeah, I, I cross-dress every day. Ah! I will see you guys next Thursday. I hope you enjoyed this weird video. And, uh, yeah, Kayla's tomorrow.